Hey, what is up everyone? It is Jake Pimentel here from Pime Technology. So it is now spring 2017 and I figured I'd do an update video on what's on my iPhone 7 Plus. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what is on my iPhone 7 Plus. All right, so I thought I'd begin by showing you guys what is on my actual phone. So the first thing that I have to show you guys is the screen protector that I am rocking. Now, you might even not notice that I have a screen protector on my phone, but I actually do. So basically, this screen protector I got in the mail from Tech Armor, and this is an awesome screen protector because I'm not the one that likes to have that weird little glass shield on the front. I kind of just want it to blend in with my iPhone. So this is the Tech Armor 3D curved glass. So I do have the black one here because it matches my black phone. But as you can see, you can barely even tell that this is on my phone. Now you may see a few bubbles. That is because I've reapplied this at least three times already. So let me quickly go ahead and show you the box. So here is the box for the screen protector that I am rocking. This screen protector is absolutely awesome. I've had no problems with it at all. It's super scratch resistant and that look without having, you know, the actual glass little shield part you can see on the front and just that seamless look and it just looks like you have like a normal iPhone. It's just absolutely amazing and this isn't that expensive either. I'm going to leave the link down to Amazon where you can go ahead and support the channel and buy this. It's really, really awesome and I've had it on my phone for about two months and really love it. Next up, I have the Rhino Shield Crash Guard for iPhone 7 Plus. This is the black one. I thought it just looked really, really nice with the black iPhone that I have. So as you can see, it's just basically a bumper, and this is super protective against um, drops. Like you can go online and see drop tests of this with this case and this case performs absolutely awesome and it's actually not a bad price I believe they only go around for $25 it's completely worth it you drop your phone in this you know that it's not going to get broken so that's why I have this case on it also is really really thin too although it does add a little bit of the um, I guess you could say width to the phone so I know like I like to keep my phone in the car in the center console and I can't really do that anymore with this case but other than that I really really like this case and it just feels really nice and is super protective and you might have been asking in your head Jake what the heck is this on the back of your phone so this is a D brand concrete skin for the iPhone 7 plus they offer tons of skins for all kinds of devices you name it they have it they also have a bunch of skins for the new Galaxy S8 that just came out if I get my hands on that I'll be sure to get skins for that but here it is this is the nice concrete finish it is very very nice and it has this nice texture to it as well and overall, it also protects the back of my phone from scratches, as if I didn't have a skin on the back of this phone, I could get it all scratched, but I'm just really, really loving this combo right here with the Rhino Shield. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out dbrand and maybe get a skin for yourself, I'm going to leave a link down in the top of the description. Alright, so unlike some of my past videos, I'm just going to highlight most of the stuff that I just use on my phone. So I'm not actually going to... Um, highlight everything that I have, but I'm going to show the entire home screen in case you guys want to check out something that's on my home screen. But one of the things I probably use the most, first of all, is the Gmail app. This is my preferred client. I guess I've just built myself around the app and if you, once you switch back to like a different type of app, it kind of screws things up. So basically I've been using the Gmail app. I feel like it works really well and it does what I want it to. Maybe I'll look towards another one in the future, but yeah, I've been using the Gmail app. For my weather, I do use the normal weather app that comes included in the iPhone. So I just really like the way that this looks. It looks really, really nice. And I like when it actually rains or snows or something. It actually shows the weather. I just think the animations are really awesome. And now they use the weather channel, so it's super accurate. And I just prefer this weather app over a lot of the other ones. All right, so here are some of my social apps. I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I have Facebook, I have Messenger, Snapchat, as well as Google Hangouts. I used to have Periscope on my phone, but I've gotten rid of that recently. I'm gonna leave all the links to my social networks right here. You guys can go and follow me on there and go check out my pages. I usually do post um, a little tweet when I do post a video, so if you guys go and follow me there, it'll definitely keep you updated. 
All right, so next up are my cellular apps. So if you guys watch a lot of my other videos, I'm really into the speed testing and network testing type of things. So I'm sure you guys have seen some of those videos before. So here is the speed test application. I use that probably the most out of all of these apps. And then I also have the coverage root metrics app. Sorry if the wind is blowing against the microphone. I also have the Open Signal app as well as the My AT&T app because AT&T is my provider. And I also use the Coverage Maps app which is about $1.99 but it's really insightful and it helps you see like the coverage in your area with all the different networks. In addition, I've been using the Apple Music app lately. So I actually purchased Apple Music and I had it for the past month and I went ahead and purchased it again this month. I'm a huge fan of Apple Music. It has a really nice interface and the transitions are dope. So I've been using the Music app a lot too. I don't know, I had Spotify for a little bit and it was nice too, but I'm really just moving towards the Apple Music and like that. So I've been using Apple Music a lot lately. All right, so some of the other apps that I do like to use included the Spanish Dictionary. I am in a Spanish class, so this is necessary if I need to look up something quickly. I mean, I don't know everything yet. I mean, oh. All right, and I also have the Google Maps app. It's one that I use a lot. And if you guys are in school like myself and you're in a math class, uh, you might want to use this calculator right here. It's called Calculate. Um, if I click on it right here, as you can see, it is a very, very nice calculator. Um, it's nice and large. It has all the different functions that you would want. So if you're in geometry, um, you have scene, cosine, and tan. So it's just a really, really nice app, and it's free. So, And I don't have any ads on it either, so it's a really, really good calculator app. Also, you guys might be also interested in what VPN I use. So at school, they block some of the stuff, like Instagram. So sometimes I'll have to actually turn on my VPN. So here is the VPN I use. It's called VPN Master. So this works really, really well. It's one of the ones that always works, no matter what Wi-Fi source I'm on. Sometimes they do block some of the VPNs, but this one always works. So I'm a huge fan of VPN Master. In addition, I also use the Fox News app as well as the CNN app to get my news and stuff like that. So I do this because I want to have a fair and non-biased look at the news that impacts us today. Fox News and CNN both have spectacular apps. I've had no problems with both apps. They're really well optimized and work great for reading. On the last page of my home screen, I also have this cool app called Prisma. Now this is pretty friggin' awesome. I'll show you guys here quickly. So if we go here and take a picture, I basically can go through all these different filters. It's actually really, really cool. My brother showed this to me. And basically, if you're a photographer, this is kind of a must be and you like to have a creative type of thing. So as you can see, it applies all these cool different filters and I just really, really like it. So you guys can definitely go check out Prisma as well. All right, I'm going to quickly go ahead and show you guys through my home screens again. So yeah, that is what is on my iPhone 7 Plus. I hope the audio wasn't too messed up. I'm sorry, it's a little bit windy today. I did get a new microphone, so hopefully that helped. But yeah, if you guys want to check out any of these apps, and if you guys want to check out dbrand, Rhino Shield, or the screen protector that I am rocking out on the front, as always, there will be links down in the description. And if you guys have any questions, like I'm going to say in probably a few seconds, put them down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, definitely leave a like up down below. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so that you can stay up to date when I release a new video. Also, be sure to comment down below if this helped you out in any way or if you have any questions, let me know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. Smile because you and technology are amazing. And peace out.